Also from the Trump administration tonight, there's an allegation that an executive from FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, an allegation that this guy hired women as a potential sexual partners for men at the agency. That's just one of several accusations that led him to resign. Lorenzo Hall is on that story for us tonight. The federal agency that responds to disasters is dealing with yet another one, but this time in its own headquarters. In this detailed summary, the Federal Emergency Management Agency revealed a more than seven month long investigation into its former personnel chief, Corey Coleman. He's accused of sexual harassment, intimidating his staff, and creating a toxic workplace. In one instance, Coleman reportedly had sex with a woman in 2015, got her reassigned to work directly with him in D.C., took her on official travel, and initiated a sexual relationship. According to the summary, when that woman refused further sexual advances, she was later denied promotion and told she'd be fired and only kept her job after agreeing to go on dates with the former HR chief. Coleman is also accused of having another inappropriate sexual relationship with an employee back in 2017 and earlier this year. That woman, too, was reassigned to work with Coleman, and the summary says he took her out to lunch, let her telework from his home, accompany him on official travel, and when she threatened to leave FEMA, Coleman created a position for that employee using disaster funds. That woman admitted to investigators she wasn't even qualified for the position. FEMA administrators call the allegations deeply disturbing and say it didn't end with sex. Coleman was said to show favoritism to his friends and fraternity brothers. Now, we tried to reach out to Coleman tonight, but we have not yet heard back. I should note he resigned from the agency last month after being on the job since 2011. FEMA administrators say their investigation is not over. Adam. Disturbing. Let's just hope yeah. it's an isolated incident. Lorenzo, thank you.